login. This video is continuation to the previous video. So previously, we have seen the earthing and lightning system components in the ground floor of this mini market. However, in this video, we are going to look at the design of lightning system at the roof plan of this market. First, let's have a look at the legend of this plan. We can see here that some of the symbols were not defined or described in the ground floor, like this, for example, bare copper tape, the air terminal, the square clamp detail, the metallic DC clip, which is used for fixing the copper tape. Well, that's because whatever we want to include in this legend must be reflected in this plan. Whatever is not used in this plan, we don't have to include it. So things like copper rods, things like earth pits shall not be included in this legend as long as it's not used in this floor plan. We can also see that each of these symbol has its own detail as referred for each description. Now let's look at the plan. At the first glance, I think that you shall be able to tell which type of lightning system is implemented in this design. We can see a lot of meshes over here that are intersected together throughout the whole roof. It is actually copper tapes intersected and fixed on the roof of this plan. So based on that, we can tell that this is a mesh conductor type. We can also see that these mesh conductors are fixed on the parapet of the roof. So on top of the whole parapet of this roof, we can see that there are copper tapes installed then from the parapet of this roof, we can see that they are connected to a lightning down conductor. We can see here several down conductors. So we can see here that there are several down conductors that are placed symmetrically at each edge of the roof. So where we can find the air termination network or the attracting rods. Logically and based on the explanation of lightning system, we shall find these rods at the topmost of the building. So for this building, let's look at the staircase room. For example, we have here one staircase room. And we can see that there is one air terminal that is placed on top of this room. This symbol indicates the copper terminal rod. So we have one over here. I'll select similar to see other terminal rods that are placed in this roof. So we can see here two air terminals that are placed. The other one is placed on top of another room. This room is the services room. This means that in your design, you have to look at the highest point in the roof to place the air terminal rod. Also, we can see here on the top of this roof, a lot of mechanical equipment or outdoor units. These could be outdoor units for the air conditioning system, extraction fans, and etc. Regardless of the type of the outdoor unit, it shall be bonded to the lightning network for safety. So you will notice here that each of these outdoor units is bounded to the lightning network. For example, we can see that the outer case of this outdoor unit is bounded to the lightning network. Same like this outdoor unit, it is bounded from both sides. This ensures the safety of this equipment. And since these outdoor units are exposed to air, so we have to protect them against lightning by connecting them or bonding them to the lightning system. Now let's look at the details here to understand more about the components in the roof plan. The first detail here is for the air termination rod. So this is how it looks like for a mesh conductor type. The rod here has a two meters length. Of course, you can change the length according to your calculations. Then. We have here the copper tape. We can see how these copper tapes are placed or fixed 
on the floor. The other detail here shows how the copper tape is fixed on the parapet of the roof. The next detail, this one is more clear, that shows the copper tape is fixed at the floor, then it is connected to the tape that is placed on top of the parapet with this square tape clamp. And then we can see here another detail that shows the copper tapes on top of the parapet. So this shows how the tapes are connected down to earth. So this is the tape that is placed on top of the parapet. Then it is connected down to the earth bit. So this connection, we can see it exactly. This is how it looks like. The copper tape is placed and also it is saddled into the reinforcing bar. And this, this is the roof level. We can see that it's taken down to the earth. So this is the top view of this copper tapes. Then this is the bottom view, which is at the floor or the ground level. So we can see the copper tapes are taken down. Then we have here a cable taken from the copper tapes that is taken also down to the earth bit. I think using these details made it clear enough for us to know the real installation of lightning and earth system at the site. So during a lightning strike, the air terminal will capture the strike, then discharge it through these copper tapes, which are connected to several down conductors that will take this huge current and voltage down to the earth pit to eventually be discharged in the ground. This is the simple explanation of the working principle of lightning system. I think now that lightning and earthing system topic is fully covered. I would like to remind you to check the attached documents, especially the Word file that contains helpful notes that should be considered in your design. For the time being, we have reached the end of this section, which is the last section of this course. I hope that you understand the main idea of this section and hopefully by now you shall be able to design lightning and earthing system easily. I tried my best to simplify this topic by focusing on substantial information and I hope that it was clear and easy to understand. I wish you all the best and good luck in your career.